Today I'm going to be showing you how to use CMake uh, and our RISC-5 uh, toolchain so that you can develop and set up your own workspace in Visual Studio Code. So for those of you who might not who might want the type settings of Visual Studio and don't want to work within uh, Mount River, this is how you can configure. So the first, so you're going to need two things. You're going to need uh, CMake and Ninja. So those are the two uh, build systems you will need. So you want to go to CMake to download and you want to download, uh, this is for Windows. So you want to download the 64-bit installer. I've already downloaded it before. And then uh, the same thing with Ninja. You want to go to the Ninja build website and you want to download uh, the binary. And for this one in releases, you shall download the Windows binary, the Win.zip for Ninja. Now, uh, after you've downloaded, uh, we're going to install a CMake. And uh, for this one, uh, I'm just going to add CMake to the path. Okay, so whilst uh, CMake is installing, uh, Ninja comes as an executable, a uh, .exe file, it's a binary. So I'm just, I just created a folder here I uh, called Ninja in my C drive and I put the .exe file here. And then the next part is I go to my environment variables and then I will edit my environment variables and then on path I will add C Ninja like I've done here. So on path I've added Ninja. And uh, that's it. So with CMake in and with Ninja in, uh, we're going to open this demo project in VS Code. But before we begin to build, I'd like to recommend some extensions. Uh, uh, and these are quite handy when it comes to working with, uh, with VS Code, uh, especially for embedded systems. So the first recommend so the first extension I would recommend uh, is the C C uh, support for Visual Studio Code. So it adds a lot of C C language support, including IntelliSense debugging and snippets. And then the next one would be serial monitor. So having your own terminal, having your own serial monitor in the terminal, that way you don't need a third party application. The Intel X format so that you can uh, see the inner uh, files or the inner workings of your .hex file. And then lastly, this is optional, Sona Lint. So this is, uh, this is a linter for C, C++, so it can detect issues and bugs uh, even whilst you are writing your code. So these are the four extensions I would recommend off to start with. Now, uh, we have our demo project here with our app file containing our .c. And then uh, we have the VS Code. Now in VS Code, we have this file, tasks.json. And the purpose of this file is to coordinate and to uh, carry out uh, ex executable commands and we're going to be and we're going to be using this task to JSON to run all these four tasks now these are the main four tasks you would need in, in order to have a fully fledged uh, embedded work area in VS Code so uh, with our main C file open now the first thing that we need to do is to make some configuration since this is a new system if you open our CMake list, the first thing we need is to locate the toolpath. So that is the home directory of our RISC-V embedded uh, GCC toolkit or toolchain. Now, for this, you're going to need Mount River Studio. Now, mine is located in D, in my D drive, this one, uh, Mount River Studio. And we want the toolchain. Then the risk five embedded GCC twelve. So
so for mine the main I only have to change 2d because the rest of the folders they are similar okay so now that we have targeted our tool path the next thing is to begin to build so uh, we are going to press ctrl shift P and we're going to go to task and we're going to run a task and in this case we're going to configure our CMake uh, it's going to choose the operating system and uh, begin creating the samples and also the some needed files before we can start building so we can open it once it's done configuring and one of the nice things is that it gives us a compile commands to JSON file now this is the file you would need to link to Sonalint for it to be able to give you your linters and assist you in detecting errors and code quality so you need to link this so in my settings to json you see sona lint path to compile commands in this case it's compile commands to json here and this will tell sona lint the compile commands and allow us to use sona lint whilst we're working here now that the configuration is done uh, we'll press ctrl shift p once again and this time we're going to on our first build task yes now as you can see after building uh, we have uh, the hex file here and also we get uh, uh, in, in the terminal we get the output for how much percentage of memory has been used so if we look at our hex file we can now open it and thanks to our intel hex extension we can see the contents inside the hex file and then lastly we now need to download and debug so to do this we press again control shift p and we're going to run a task this time we're going to do flash but before we begin this uh, if we go to our task to json you can see that flash uh, is via open ocd and if we open our terminal so if we open our terminal and type open OCD we can see that it's already linked so that's good so we are simply now going to run this command but if your open OCD is not linked uh, you can find it inside the two chain here. So inside the two chain, you want to use open OCD uh, binaries, and then you want to add this to your compile path. Uh, you want to add this to your path variable, or you can copy the entire path and quote the open OCD from uh, the root file. Now uh, we're going to run the last task. In this case, is to flash. Okay, so now that uh, we have flashed and downloaded our program, we need to test it. So I'm going to connect my serial monitor. And uh, as you can see, it already has uh, detected our WCH link. Now, every time I press the reset button, it is printing uh, on our monitor. And uh, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.